How's it going lads, Marshall here and welcome to a brand new Team of the Season review on the channel. As you guys know, EA tonight, they dropped some brand new Team of the Season cards. We have La Liga and we have the Turkish League. So, in total, the Turkish League doesn't have that great talent. Trezeguet looks very good in there, but La Liga has some phenomenal attackers. So, we're starting with one today and he goes by the name of Wissam Ben Yedda. Yes, the five-star week for Little Magician is the review each today. So, lads, if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Bring that hype! Smash that like! Let's see him for a thousand likes on uh, this team of the season with Sam Ben Yedda review. Uh, that would be sensational. Click that notification bell if you are new to the channel. Once you have subbed, that would be uh, brilliant as well. Now, I did want to, uh, to review Usman Dembele tonight. His price range is 1.5 million, same as Ben Yedda, but Ben Yedda's price range got doubled to 3 million. So since then, his price did drop to around the 2 million mark. I picked him up, sold him for roughly the same price. So we're going to review him today and see what he's offers basically in a 4 2 3 1 as the lone striker. Lads, let's see how he did. Let's get into the review. So here we go, the review of the Little Pocket Rockets. He is 5 foot 7 and he possesses a lightning pace on this game. He's actually got 99 acceleration and 94 sprint speed, leading to 99. 97 base card start in terms of pace. He's got 97 shooting as well, 92 pass, 95 dribbling, and 78 physical. In terms of price, like I said, his price range was 1.5 million, but uh, he just wasn't showing up on the market like the first hour or so. So um, I did pick him up roughly 7 p.m. And since then, I've played five games and we scored nine times. And his price, as of me recording this, is 2 million to 2.1 on the Xbox and on the PlayStation. Four star skills, I love that about the card, but most importantly, a five star weak foot. Like I say, he is quite small, five foot seven, and he does have high to high work rates. What else does he have? Amazing stats, apart from the strength of 72 and the aggression of 70, which I did try to up by putting the finisher chem style on him. Now, you will notice that says nine player chemistry. I, uh, I upped that by putting a, well, a La Liga manager in there. J just changed Jose Mourinho to a La Liga manager. So that was all sorted. So don't worry, I played him on Saint Kim and uh, that's how we rocked. So his shooter was basically maxed out because Already, he's got 99 attack position, 99 finish, 94 shot power, 85 long shots, 94 volleys, and 87 penalties. In terms of pace, like I said, he's a pocket rocket. He's got 99 acceleration and 94 sprint speed. The passing is there, so he is very versatile in this game. He can play striker, centre forward, or even cam. Right forward, left forward, right wing, or left wing. He'd be great in each and every single one of those positions. Honestly... I reckon he'd flourish in every single one. He's got 94 vision, 90 crossing, 94 free kicks, 93 short pass, 82 long pass, and 99 curve. In terms of dribbling with this card, 99 agility. Love that. 98 balance. Love that. He's got 90 reactions, 93 ball control, 95 dribbling, and 95 composure. For a striker on this game, that is one of the best dribbling strikers you can get stat-wise on this game, period. Simple as that. Now, I know he's diminutive, He's five foot seven, but he's got jumping of an Olympic athlete high jumper. I mean, he's got 99 jumping, 98 head and accuracy. So if he does get a heads from the corner, because lads, with this team, he goes near posted corners. He's five foot bloody seven. Did he win a header? No, unfortunately. But from across and whatnot, he does win a header. You can kind of guarantee it's going in the back of the net. As you see, a lovely first time volley into the back of the net from the edge of the area there from Wissam Ben Yedda. He's got 88 stamina as well. So the high, high work rates, that is important because you don't want him to lose stamina and um, with the 88 stamina he definitely doesn't lose it uh, I guess he'd be a great sub he'd be a great starter and um, you're seeing what he offers in the background right now like I said he played five games scoring nine times and getting zero assists because I was having too much fun scoring goal after goal after goal with him because honestly he's amazing in front of goal when it comes to the pace then that's going to be one of the number one pros because he is that quick on and off the ball because you've got to um, remember he's got 99 agility on the ball he's very nippy and what I mean by that is he's very uh, quick, he's very fast, he's very good at accelerating past player after player after player, and his ball control is nuts, it's just close control, so he dribbles a lot like Messi on this game, and I know that it's high praise, but he definitely, definitely does. Um, with the agility 99, the acceleration 99, the balance even 98, I mean it's just incredible. In terms of the best stats, it's all 99, acceleration finishing, and the key stat of the day, which will be the agility, the worst, coming in with the aggression and uh, the strength. I've got stamina there, but I do mean strength i do apologize for that i definitely mean strength because his stamina is 88 the strength is 72 so that's just a, a slight graphical issue on my end nobody else's just my fault so in terms of the rest of these pros you got the movement because with high high work rates you're always up and down you're always up and down like a yo-yo so in terms of his movements 
It's fantastic because you never marked. And with him being a strength, just look at that running behind. I didn't have to trigger that on anything. He did that automatically. And I love that about high, high workers on this game. And Ben Yedda, he does just that. He gets in a position, scores the goal first time on his weak foot. Because as you guys know, the five star weak foot is the Pierce de Resistance with this card. But I want to talk about his dribbling first. Um, it's fantastic. Like I said, it's close to his body. It's 93 ball control. His first touch is exquisite. His dribbling is close to him. It never gets away from him. And with the strength that he's got, he will get pushed off the ball if he's in a kind of confrontation like shoulder to shoulder or anything like that. But he is very, very visible in this game. He goes through in behind the defence, fake shots to keep her and saps it into the empty net. In terms of that weak foot then, he's just got it right there. His left foot it's a wand, an absolute wand. His right foot is tremendous, but that left foot is just as accurate as the right. So it's just fantastic for this card. And of course, the four star skills with the agility that he's got and stuff like that. He comes out with skills very fast, and you can definitely utilize that to your advantage in game. As you see, a bloody brilliant go on the volley, on the weak foot, top bins from a scissor kick. In terms of the finishing, this guy's an assassin, an absolute assassin in front of Gore. He's basically a hitman. He sees his target in nets. He takes it out. He takes it out every single time. The target is the back of the net and he wipes it out every single bloody time. 99 finish, 94 shot power. Even from range, 85 long shots. With finisher boosted that, I do believe. And the volleys are 94 as well. So he's just incredible in front of Gore. And again, it's on both feet and he's just... He's a weapon, man. He's an absolute weapon. He's got agility, he's got balance, he's got shot power. So uh, his shot power is tremendous. It's 94, and he can blast it past many a goalkeeper on this game. And with the agility and balance, it makes him very, very evasive. But what happens when he does get touched? He's going to the ground like a sack of shite every single bloody time because he is still weak. Now, I did put the finisher on him to boost that, and the aggression of 72 and 70 aggression. It didn't seem to work. It really didn't seem to work because he was still quite weak. Now it might be his sight. He's five foot seven. You've got to remember that, and he is weak. So any kind of source centre back, you're talking uh, Ivan Dykes, yeah, yeah, like Chiellini's or someone like that. If they go back, like um, if he backs up and work like Chiellini for a header, there's only one winner. It's going to be Chiellini every single time. So um, just keep that in your thoughts and uh, in the back of your mind. But what I want to keep in the front of your mind is this card is bloody brilliant. He's a sensational card in this game. He's only let down by his lack of height, um, by his strength, and that's about it really, because the rest of his stats speak for himself. His performances on the pitch speak for themselves in what you've watched in the, the video. So in terms of the overall rating for Wissam Ben Yedda, lads, he's gonna get the rating of a 9.6 outstanding rating for an outstanding card. Honestly, when I bought him for like 2.1 million, I didn't expect him to be this good. So I was expecting to lose many, many a coin on this card. But honestly, if he, he, he has his performances for me as he, he does for you guys. I don't see his price dropping too much, but right now I think it's a little too expensive. So I've given a value for coins of an 8.2. I reckon he's worth more rounds Maybe the 1.5 million mark, which his price range was originally set at, and I reckon it will drop to that mark over time. Right now, it's a little too expensive, so I'm giving it a preliminary 8.2, but should he drop to 1.5, that would go up. In terms of the overall rating, I'm sticking by 9.6. Phenomenal player on this game. Very versatile, you can play him calm, set a forward, striker, uh, right wing, left wing, right forward, left forward. So you can play him in any one of those positions, and this guy will be sensational. In terms of enjoyment, 9.5. Four, which again, it just provides enjoyment on this game because you want to be able to do what you want in game. With this card, it allows you that. The only thing he lacks is the five star skills. So, five star weak foot, get a chance on his left, hit it on his left. Get a chance on the right, it's his right foot anyway. So, just hit it on his bloody right. In the air, he's got 99, well, 98 in accuracy, even though, like, um, win the headers against defenders that's got the same kind of jumping as this card, he's not going to win them. But, Free header, that should go in the back of the net. And of course, with his finishing stats, everything does go in the back of the net. In terms of foot champ status, he's getting a starter from himself. If you guys get this guy in a pack, in your rewards, anything like that, keep him. Keep him, use him, enjoy him. At the end of the day, it's enjoyment that you're after. This guy is fully, fully enjoyable in this game. In terms of purple links, there's quite a few within um, uh, Sevilla, that's French. So you've got like, like some, the example of the Gonolons. I think the other one was like, um, it's not Gabamin or anything like that. 
it, it's something along those lines, but I forgot the name, and there's another one as well. And um, Sebastian Korshia used to play for them. I don't think he does anymore, but uh, that would be another one if he was still that club. But Gunnar Lons is your man. In terms of um, strong links, you've got Pablo Sarabia, also got a team of season today. He is in there for a strong link. Griezmann is in there for a strong link. Actually, was going to review him tonight, should uh, Dembele or Ben Yedda not pop up on the market, but Ben Yedda fortunately did. And of course, you've got the French icons, Thierry Henry, you've got Laurent Blanc, you've got Patrick Vieira, Robert Perez, Emmanuel Pitt. There's so many French icons on this game. Jesus. In terms of weak links, you've got anyone that's French, that's not in La Liga. So Mbappe, for example, right there. The similar players. I think I mentioned it in the review that he was quite similar to Messi in his style of dribble. And I stick by that. Similar players, Lionel Messi, simply because dribble is quite similar. I know Messi doesn't have the five-star weak foot. That's all these two miss. That's literally all these two miss between each other. In terms of the key pro, it will be that five star week, but the key con will be the strength, and the best chem style will be finisher, but I honestly reckon the true best chem style for this card could possibly be marksman. So if you're looking to get this card in your team, stick a marksman on him. But uh, from a finisher, rating per position, he goes to a 96 all-rounder, but um, yeah, marksman I think takes him to a 97. In terms of the best within the league, you've got Messi, Ben Yedder at number two, and I'd actually stick him ahead of uh, Gareth Bale's foot birthday card, I definitely would. So in terms of the French, He's coming above Lacazette. Lacazette comes in at number two and Henri at number three. And in terms of passing, nine out of ten, shooting, nine out of ten, dribbling, nine out of ten. And physicality, because of the lack of strength and aggression, bringing that way, way down, he gets a seven out of ten. And lads, that's where we're going to end the review today. I hope you have enjoyed. I was waiting so we could get a review out of a brand new La Liga Tots. And that is exactly what we did. So I hope you have enjoyed, boys. If you have, you know what to do. In the comment section below, spam. Well, not even spam. Just comment. Don't spam. I don't like spam. It's, spam tastes horrible. But um, just comment, lads. Just comment who you want reviewed next. I'll try and get them out for tomorrow. So if you do enjoy, comment below. Like the video if you have enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And as always, I will catch you all next time, lads.